Hi, my name is Jeff Sackman and I run a website called gmathacks.com. I'm the author of several GMAT textbooks including Total GMAT Math and Total GMAT Verbal, which you can get at the website or at amazon.com. What I'm here to talk about today is some reading strategies for GMAT reading comprehension. One of the big challenges that students face is the length of the passages. Some passages are pretty short, but some passages are as long as five or six hundred words. And when you combine that sort of length with the time constraints of the GMAT verbal section and the fact that the content, such as science, social sciences, economics, can often be fairly challenging, just getting through the passage in time to be able to answer some questions is a difficult part of taking this section of the test. So what I want to talk about today is some tactics you can use to get through the passage faster without missing anything important. So what I'd like to introduce to you is a method of looking at the individual sentences within the paragraphs of the passage and deciding which ones are worth your time. So just to take, for example, one type of GMAT reading passage, we have three paragraphs that work something like this. The first paragraph is an introduction. The second paragraph is one point in support of the passage's perspective. And the third paragraph is a second point. Now, like I say, there's a lot of different structures for GMAT reading comprehension, but this is a very common one. It's probably one that you learned how to write at some point in junior high or high school, sort of like the simplified five paragraph essay format. So, this first paragraph, the introductory paragraph, this is by far the most important one. The first sentence, the last sentence, this is where you're going to get a quick summary of what's going on in this passage. So let's just say, for simplicity's sake, that we have four sentences in each paragraph. Again, that's not going to be true in every case, but it's a good approximation. Three to five sentences per paragraph is about what you can expect on the GMAT. So in this introductory paragraph, you've got about four sentences. That first sentence is going to be your introduction to the whole topic of the passage. The fourth sentence, the last sentence, is often going to be the thesis statement, where the author puts forth the perspective of the passage, um, the direction that the passage is going to go from here. Whatever it is that they're doing with these first and last sentences, they're very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rate every sentence in this entire passage an A, a B, or a C. So an A means this is very important. This is a sentence that you have to read carefully. You need to make sure you understand. You should probably think about making some sort of note regarding it. This is the, one of the most important sentences in the passage. So first and fourth sentences in the introductory paragraph are A's. Second and third sentences in the introductory paragraph are B's. Notice here that we don't have any C's in the introductory paragraph. This is the most important paragraph of the passage. If you have very little time left, read the introductory paragraph, no matter how much else you're skipping. So this is your summary of what's important compared to other sentences within the paragraph and other paragraphs within the passage. So now we can take a look at the second paragraph. This won't be quite as central because the second paragraph usually looks at some specific topic within the overall scope of the passage. So again, let's assume that we have four sentences within the second paragraph. Here, you'll notice that we start to use some C's. The first sentence, we're going to give that another A. The fourth sentence, again, the end of a paragraph is always potentially important, so we'll give that a B. But the stuff in the middle, the middle of the supporting paragraphs, those are going to get C's. So in terms that you might have been exposed to before, this first sentence is what is often called a topic sentence. So let's say the introductory paragraph is setting up a topic, it's telling us the sort of argument that the author of the passage might make, the first sentence of each subsequent paragraph is going to give us an overview. So perhaps one argument in support of the point is this second paragraph. So that claim will be made with that first sentence. What follows that first sentence is much less important. It's often a supporting detail, um, some background on the topic, it's in there for a reason, and there might be one question on the test that covers something in this area of the passage, but compared to the first paragraph, it's not very important. So if you're just skimming, or if you're trying to decide what to focus your energy on, look at that first sentence, make sure you understand the first sentence, 
consider the last sentence, make sure there's nothing hidden in there that might tell us the author's perspective or some twist on the point made in the first sentence. But the second and third sentences, really not major priorities. So then on the third paragraph, in this sort of GMAT reading comprehension passage, there isn't much difference between the format of the second paragraph and the format of the third paragraph. So in the third paragraph here, we're just replicating what we did in the second paragraph. Topic sentence, some background information, then a final sentence that might have something of value to us. So, to recap, we've got a typical three paragraph GMAT reading comprehension passage. You might not have a lot of time or the confidence to really understand every little detail, or perhaps it's a science, biology, physics type passage that intimidates you and you're not comfortable truly understanding every one of the 10 to 12 sentences of the passage. In that case, these A's are your first priority, the B's are your second priority, and the C's are only there if you have a lot of time or you feel comfortable with the topic of the passage. Now, as I said in the beginning, not every GMAT reading comprehension passage falls into the, this exact outline, but some of these tactics that I've described would apply no matter what the outline is. First paragraph, first sentence, last sentence of the first paragraph, always important. Doesn't matter if it's a one paragraph passage, a five paragraph passage, this is always important. First sentence of subsequent paragraphs, doesn't matter again whether it's two paragraphs or six paragraphs, these first sentences are always important. Last sentences, especially towards the end of the passage. I've seen passages where the entire passage seems to just have one perspective, seems to come from one point of view, and then the last sentence or two of the passage tells us that really, recent research shows that this perspective is wrong. So if you skipped the very end of the passage, you'd have a completely erroneous view of what the perspective of the passage is, or what the most recent research shows regarding this topic. So next time you're approaching a GMAT reading comprehension passage, use this to attack the passage more quickly, more confidently, and make sure you get the most important points out of it. Thanks.